solar stake light, this is called. So here it is as part of sort of a survival keychain. It's a self-powered solar rechargeable glow fob, but it does a lot more than that. There's plenty of room to put extra things in here and make this a dedicated uh, sort of all-in-one survival kit instead of carrying a tin. So you've got a self-sufficient off-the-grid battery charging mechanism. So when you uh, lose contact with civilization, uh, you're not at the mercy of just one battery. You can recharge over and over again thanks to sunlight, which is very cool. It's a tight fit, but by putting the solar panel upright rather than sideways, you can make just barely enough room for a AA rechargeable battery, in this case nickel metal hydride. So if you want super capacity, this is 2000 milliampere hours, whereas the supply battery is 200 milliampere hours. So that means you should get 10 times the battery life Assuming you can recharge it in only one day of sunlight. You may have to charge it in more than one day. At the top, you have a very bright light in all directions and a real attention-getting strobe. So uh, about a year or so ago, March 2014 actually, flight MH370 went down over the Indian Ocean and we have yet to find it. Uh, it's a $260 million aircraft, yet we didn't have the technology to find where it went down. And I thought, what kind of a distress beacon could they have jettisoned uh, to allow us to find this aircraft? Some automatic mechanism that would work even if uh, terrorists were in charge of the cockpit. So using a rechargeable battery, for instance, from the uh, Tic Tac solar charger uh, uh, mechanism, say a AA or AAA battery, a flashing flashlight, uh, this container of oregano, a scrap piece of paper, some plastic straws cut up, uh, some construction supplies such as tape and scissors, and some pocket change. See if you can guess what kind of a distress beacon I'm going to make out of these items. So, see that? That's the Indian Ocean. And here's my distress beacon. Even if you launch it upside down, it self-writes. So even in turbulent seas, if I put the uh, weight straight up and let go, it still shoots up and it shoots in a 100, 360 degree circle around its uh, location. It's bobbing very slightly out of the water. Uh, I'm going to turn off the room lights.
Lights back on. And I made that from about $7 worth of parts.